This is gonna be a hard topic. Roll the intro. Hello everyone, welcome to another video, another Celestial Tour. So today's topic is going to be a hard topic. So don't expect stuff like stars and galaxies are so majestic. Look at the full moon. How beautiful. Instead, this video will mostly be about complicated stuff about physics. And I hope I will explain everything well, at least most of everything. That's right. In this video, I'll talk about wormholes, the favorite ingredient of sci-fi movies. Interstellar, for example, was a movie with a wormhole scene. That scene was epic though, we all gotta admit it. Now, if you have watched my previous videos, you would have an idea about what a wormhole is. A wormhole is a structure linking two points in spacetime. Basically, if you travel by a wormhole, you will end up in another point faster than the speed of light. That's basically the preview of how you would describe wormholes. Let's look at the wormholes in depth, shall we? Wormholes are hypothetical structures predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity. Now, this is important for this video. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity is... How can you explain this in a quick way? It's basically a theory of gravity. This theory states that instead of an unknown invisible force that helps two objects attract to each other, gravity is warping spacetime. In other words, the more massive an object, the more it warps the space around it. So if Einstein's theory of relativity was a picture, I would say it would be this. You probably get what I mean because understanding Einstein's theory of relativity is the first big step for understanding wormholes. If you did understand, you pass level 1. Yay! Back to the topic of wormholes. A wormhole that has two mouths, aka two space time points, and a throat that connects the mouths, might theoretically connect the two mouths that are separated by billions of light years, a few meters, various moments in time, or even entire universes around the multiverse. Wait, so you said wormholes can connect moments in time? That means time travel is possible? Unfortunately, not even wormholes are possible yet. Oh come on! The origin of wormholes begun in 1916, however, they weren't called wormholes at the time. Austrian scientist Ludwig Flamm discovered a different solution to Albert Einstein's general relativity equations while examining one provided by another researcher. He talked about a white hole, which is a black hole's hypothetical time reversal variant. I also talked about that in my previous videos. According to Flum, there could be a space-time conduit that connects the entrances to both black and white holes. General relativity was utilized by Albert Einstein and the American-Israeli physicist Nathan Rosen in 1935 to develop the concept and suggest the presence of bridges between space-time. These bridges link two distinct locations in space-time, hence posing the possibility of a shorter route that would shorten travel times and distance. Since wormholes were mostly studied by Einstein and Rosen, they were also called Einstein-Rosen bridges. The wormholes or Einstein-Rosen bridges are the names given to the shortcuts. Although wormholes are predicted mathematically by Einstein's theory of general relativity, none have been seen thus far. It is possible to detect a negative mass wormhole by observing how its gravitational field affects nearby light. The presence of wormholes with black holes at each end is permitted by some general relativity solutions. A wormhole cannot be produced by naturally existing black hole, which is the result of the death of a star. Level 2 complete. Science fiction stories include wormholes, which are epic, yes, but in reality, wormholes can be more epic and complicated. Here comes the final boss. Stability is important for wormholes, and only negative mass and energy can stabilize wormhole because negative energy would stop the wormhole from closing since it repels gravitationally, and the throat is where the negative energy is. For stabilization, you would need exotic matter, a very exotic type of matter, and it's not clear if such kind of matter exists in the universe. Exotic matter, not to be confused with dark matter or antimatter, contains negative energy density and a large negatively charged pressure. Theoretically, information or travelers might be sent across space through a wormhole if it included enough exotic matter, whether naturally occurring or purposefully created. Speaking of artificially made wormholes, some physicists that explained how to make wormholes artificially are Kip Thorne and Frank Tipler. 
However, Kip Thorne also said that humans traveling by wormholes aren't possible, according to the laws of physics. Speaking by thinking that wormholes are hypothetical, wormholes may also connect to universes. I've also talked about this in my multiverse video. You can watch that video from cards. Similar to this, some scientists have hypothesized that time travel would be possible if one mouth of wormhole were to be moved in a particular way, but again, some physicists like Stephen Hawking, for example, don't believe in it due to the laws of physics. We know right now. So, congratulations, you've beaten the final boss. And what did it cost? A mind blown. Alright, so I just hope that I have explained everything well and that this video was understandable. If you are an expert or a physics professor watching this, you may write in the comment section about my mistakes, if I have any. In conclusion, to summarize all of the information, wormholes, aka einstein rosen bridges, are hypothetical structures that connect two space-time points, only with exotic matter, and damn they're a hard topic to cover. Anyways, I still hope you guys found this video interesting and once again thought about how outer space and generally science can be more epic than science fiction. Also, I may make a video about NASA's Artemis program. It is a program about sending humans to the moon, like the Apollo program. However, Artemis 1 is an uncrewed mission, which is the first step for the Artemis program. I may make a video about it, but if I don't make the Artemis video, my school is starting soon and I will take a break for a while. Stay tuned for the videos later on. Anyways, thank you for watching and stay astronomical.